and welcome to Fuerte Figaro. We are in not so sunny Flandidno at the moment. I am uh, almost halfway through the tour now and I would like to bring you another makeup episode. Um, this is a very interesting one, as you will see. They say never work with children and animals. Well, in this production, we have both. And no, it's not Musetta's dog. We have a monkey. Prepare yourselves for an entirely unique characterization of Parpignol. So, here we have Mike Clifton Thompson and his glamorous assistant Ree. Um, this is Parpignol's face going on. What's this made of, Ree? Um, a latex foam. So it's extremely light and feels like skin. Is that right, Rich? Yeah. Hey, what? There's a piece for you. Yeah. There's his chin, so you can feel that. Oh, let me see. Oh, gosh. It's very... Tactile. Very tactile. How does it stick, How does it stick on? Um, we're gluing it with um, a mild glue called Pro Stick. Then we also... I've got a strong glue called Talisys for the chin because the chin tends to fall off because the movement. Not mine, the mask. The, the mask, <laughs> yeah. Not your own chin. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit like Dawn of the Dead, otherwise, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be so it is just all attached with glue. Does that? Yeah, just little. I just do like a, a T zone. Yeah. Uh, down the nose and across the forehead, a little bit around the eyes. I suppose, right, well there, well, there are two obvious questions that I have to ask you. First of all, that is really strange, actually, when you see it with your own hairline and not the wig. Mm -hmm. um, why are you a monkey? It's the only acting I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they found a picture of somebody who was dressed as a monkey, who was going around Victorian Edwardian fairs. Right. Um, I think the speculation was that he was deformed, a bit like the monk the elephant man. The elephant man, okay. And um, that he did this as a means of escapism so he could go out into the street and therefore it gave him some confidence. Although he would and some income. Some, and some income, and he would suffer some ridicule, of course, but at least he could inhabit another character for the purposes of that. So that's fascinating. So it is based on on a real person. And that's yes, it so it moves so it's been obviously it's been molded yes, specifically been for your face. Yes. So when you right. when you right. wrinkle your nose and move your face, it moves with you. <laughs> yes, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes it does. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't scream that time. No. I have to say the first day that I saw you in this makeup in the wings, I was quite frightened by it. It's quite it's actually quite sinister up close. There's something quite mm. eerie about it. I think, <laughs> it, I think it, it had that effect on a lot of people actually. Um, Were the children a bit scared when they first saw you've you? You've got the simian features and then you've got blue eyes or non animal eyes. I yeah suppose. it's a bit that's the thing. It's that's what people find disconcerting. So yes, that was that was it really. So this is you colouring in under his eyes now to yeah. sort of so that I'm just blending in um, because we add a little extra darkness around um, the, the monkey mask eyes and it's just to blend Mike's eye in with it as well, just a little bit. Oh, oh I see it. <laughs> So the um, so the other question is: Does it? How does it affect your your singing? Yes, that was always going to be a problem because, as you know, we use the sort of natural resonators in our cheekbones, so it does serve to dampen that somewhat. But I think the there may have been plans at the outset to amplify it in some way, perhaps with the radio mic, if it hadn't worked. Right. Um, but they felt it was sufficiently loud and audible in the auditorium, so they didn't do anything about that. Um, 
Which is incredible, actually, because mm. as you say, you'd imagine it would make yes, quite a marked difference. Especially with the larger jaw and the extended sort of nose structure. And is your hearing affected by the headpiece? No, not at all. My my ears remain outside the the wig because it's just a sort of a wig that goes over the top. Oh, it's just a wig that goes over so, the top. Yes, and facial hair, so there's nothing covering my ears at all. They did have some ears, but they were enormous and a bit a bit comedy. So um, so we never used them, did no, we? No, we didn't. They were a bit no. strange. Yeah. But they it's were... definitely. I mean, the makeup is definitely airing on the dark side rather than going for comedy, isn't it? Yes, it's like the Batman movies. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're going for the dark monkey. So, so, uh, yes, I don't think it was ever intended to be comedy. And in fact, the character is a lot livelier than they had initially foreseen. I think they wanted him to be a sad character and somebody who was forlorn um, and was forced into living in this way uh, because of his deformity and his unemployability, really, I suppose. Um, but uh, once we got into the production phase, we realised that when the band came on, for instance, there could be another side of him uh, that was perhaps, again, just inhabiting the character and, and just being a little more extrovert in a way that possibly he couldn't be as himself. Yeah. Yeah, because he has huge fun at the end with the children in the band. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I see now. It's just it's so you ears stick out. Yes. From the wig. I'm very sensitive for you. You took me in my ears. You didn't really mean that. Did you? Your lovely shell like ears <laughs> stick out That's from it. from underneath yes. the wig. What conshaw. <laughs> <laughs> so what so yeah. what else have we still we've still got the chin to go? Yeah. Well um, mm. chin and some and facial. facial. Mm -hmm. And that okay. moves independent of the mask, of course, so that does allow some of the sound to get out. Whereas it would probably be more trapped if it was a single piece. If it was a single piece. Mm. So that that's really... Move. Yeah. I suppose it would have to, because otherwise that would be so uncomfortable to to sing. Does it feel heavy on your face? Can you feel the weight of it as you try no. and move, lift? No. It, the only thing is when you get... Because the costume has got the fat suit element, it gets extremely hot. So when I come off stage... I'm so hot, you sort of want to pull it off because it's like being trapped in a sauna in some way. I so can't you imagine. Feel yourself overheating, really. I'm hot it's enough in my fur coat. I can't imagine mm. what it must be like to be under a, a fat suit. No, well, this is, looks as if I've just got out of a, a bath by the time I come out. So this is the chin going on. That is fabulous. Sometimes. <laughs> my, that's because you're being good and you've yeah. stayed still for it. Sometimes Mike looks like he's had a little bit, it's only a bit of a wonk. It it's like a bit of a wonk. A it's a little bit like, do you know, some of the faces that you pull look a little bit like the makeup in The Grinch. Have you seen The Grinch? Yes. Yes, Film. yes it is a bit. Yes, it is a bit. Right. It's less sort of planet of the age. That, isn't it? But that's, I mean, already speaking to you, your, vo your speaking voice is really muffled. As soon as you've got that chin on. So it must be... Mm. Yes, so you can already hear the effect it has. Yeah. Yeah. Are there, are there slits in the nose? No. 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 That's, that's it, really. <gasps> wow. Uh, so we're almost done. So what, we just have a bit of face fur... It's going on a, a lot quicker, actually, than I, I thought. I mean, the the, the final effect is mm. is yeah. astonishing. I thought I thought you'd be in makeup for hours. Mm. I think if it was, no, it's um, yeah, because mm. of theatre, you're able to get away um, with a lot more, so you don't have to be as detailed with the edge in. But because it's made for Mike's face and it fits in perfect. It just works well, doesn't it? So, and we've yeah. done it so many times now. Yeah. We know exactly. And they're all true. And then Charlotte, yeah, Charlotte. Don't define fine art. Sorry, I should say uh, Charlotte has just appeared in the background. Yeah. Hello, Charlotte. Yeah. I have got four <laughs> hands. Looks like I've got four hands. I know. <laughs>